good morning folks so here we are uh, Saturday beautiful day again uh, we're trying out a new camera today so hopefully the picture and the sound quality will be better just gonna use the GoPro for time-lapsing use this camera for the actual vlog recording so today I'm gonna fit the first piece of plywood paneling inside the bus and hopefully fit the um, furniture that will hold our cooker and the bench on the left hand side of the bus so yeah we're going to crack on with that today and we'll show the progress as we carry on okay so we've cut it roughly to size um, as you can see it's slightly overhanging the door here but now we've got to cut this end to fit around the wheel arch and uh, put holes in for the cables that are coming through the walls so next thing is measure all these bits up um, cut it out obviously like everything else in the in the bus nothing's quite square so just gonna have to be a bit careful how we cut this out so we end up with a nice finish but, uh, yes yeah, so that's the next stage gonna trim out this bottom corner so that it slides over the top of the wheel arch Okay, so now we've got to cut a uh, hole. Uh, it's a bundle of cables that come through our ply. So I'm going to use the square just so that we know everything is where it's supposed to be. So it gives us a measurement of 21 for that side. And 23 and a half for the other side uh, 21 and 23 and a half and six and a half six and a half inches go on to the square up off the floor so we'll mark that out cut that out of the wood and see how it fits Okay, so I'm going to start building the furniture, starting with the uh, driver's side of the bus because the bench or the wheel arch cover on that side for various reasons is taller than the one on the passenger side of the bus. So I'm going to start with that one and then take all of our measurements off that. So to make the frames, um, I've got one of these 90 degree clamps, absolutely brilliant, highly recommend you get one, get a much nicer finish. So I've clamped the two pieces together, all the edges are nice and flush, so I'm going to drill a couple of pilot holes, countersink them and drive a couple of screws in. Again, got the three drills so I don't have to keep swapping bits, so yeah we'll get that sorted now. Ok, so I've cut the bottom corner out roughly just to fit around the wheel arch so now we're going to have to as you can see we're not quite not quite a nice fit up this edge so we're going to use the easy scribe uh, to scribe that edge in and get a much much nicer fit so I don't know if you've used one of these before but it has a has a wind handle here you use your thumb and use that to set 
the gap at the, at the, on the scribe to the widest gap that you've got in your piece of wood. So using that, that setting as your widest point, then run the scribe and it leaves you a line to cut off that will exactly fit the profile that it's going up against. Okay, we've got a nice fit. We've cut out the hole at the bottom here so it will slide down over our cables. This will be the back of the cooker cupboard uh, down here. Um, use the square again because you can't use spirit level, especially when the back of the bus is up on ramps. So use the square to mark the edge drawn a line up the board so we'll cut that off I'm also going to take a small notch out of this corner so that it doesn't rub on the cables and just bring this top section down to level with the bedroom window sill so just go and cut those bits out and we'll bring it back in see if it all fits okay it's nearly lunchtime so uh, hopefully gonna go and get a little bit of a snack in a minute so progress so far we'll turn you around now we've got this board to fit not attached it yet uh, we started building the benches so as i mentioned earlier the driver's side of the bus wheel arch is built slightly higher for a number of reasons so we started there because that will be the top of our bench height and then using that level we've come across and built the end of the bench on the passenger side of the bus so now we can use that level all the way down to the front uh, to make sure that everything is nice and square and flat and yeah so uh, next thing is to finish building the bench on this side and the unit is going to house our oven so i have to go and dig out the instructions for the oven see what measurements we need for that okay another glorious day uh, becky and i are finally working together on the bus it's a miracle Yay. yeah unfortunately <laughs> we've had to go back to work because well a you need to earn a living b we've got to pay for this which is really expensive didn't realize how much it was going to cost but hey, there we go. It's been good fun. Um, so it's Sunday, we're both off. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with the furniture build today. Sun is shining as well. Yeah, hopefully um, we'll get the cooker, the passenger side bench seat and some of the kitchen units fitted today. So um, this is what the drive looks like currently. Yeah, so this is the outdoor workshop. <laughs> yes. but hopefully everything's out and we can just crack on and cut and saw and drill and screw and everything else so got the GoPro set up doing another time lapse today so we'll chuck a few bits of that in as well but uh, yeah we'll keep you up to date with the progress as we get on see you in a bit Okay, so here's our first piece of furniture. Um, because of the way the Mavano is built, we've had to run all of our cables down the inside of the pillar that sits behind the sliding door. Oh, hang on, we have company. I mean, it's been a long time since I've heard a commercial aeroplane. No, that's a helicopter. Oh, is it? Bear with us while we... Police. Oh dear, someone's having a busy Sunday. Sorry about the interruption. Rude. they know we're videoing yeah, absolutely how dare they go about their job so anyway yes yeah, so we've had to run all the cables down the inside of the pillar behind the sliding door which means we can't screw anything to it um, because there are about 20 cables in there um, and nobody wants to see the cables no nobody wants to see the cables so that meant we can't screw the front piece of this furniture to the bus wall including the ply lining on the back so what we've had to do is make this piece of furniture outside the bus, fix the ply to the furniture and then fix the furniture to the floor. This was complicated slightly by the cables. So if we take you in the bus, we'll show you why. And it also meant that we had to design this in such a way that it wasn't quite built until it's in. 
I shall dutifully follow. No, yeah, because this is not easy getting this in here. Obviously, at the moment, she's back to front. She's up on ramps at the back. Yeah, so we can't turn it around. Because we've been fiddling with her tanks and things. So we can't turn around. We can't move her away from the wall. So it's proving to be quite a difficult job getting things in and out. Now. Okay, so there's the space where she's actually going. As you can see, this great big bundle of cables. There's a huge bundle of cables in the way. And they've got to be inside this unit. Yes, yeah, so as they can't be, can't be hidden. They, they've got to be hidden, they can't be on the outside. This is the pillar that we can't screw to. Oh, because on, let me go to the other end. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Got the wide angled lens on, haven't you? Oh, yeah. So, this pillar we can't screw to because this bundle of cables that you can see on the floor all run up this pillar and over the roof to feed all of the electrics on this side of the bus. So we've got to get all those cables inside this. So what I've done is not fixed the bottom and as you'll see in a second I can move it away just far enough to get that bundle of cables in and then into this cutout which we made yesterday um, and then all of that ends up inside the what will be the cookie unit. So here we go. I'm going to turn my back to you and block out the view, sorry. It's a bit rude. And we'll find a new place to stand. As you can see, the back just moves enough and wiggle the cables into the pre-cut hole and then the whole lot slides backwards cables are inside place. our cupboard so unit yeah cables are inside so no one can see them oh, this unit is well will be the cooker so the cooker will be in here and the hob on the top yeah yeah work, work top will sit on top of here this will be the back of our bench uh, which makes up into the single bed so that's the next thing we're going to build but we get this in fix this to the floor and there you go cables yeah. are all hidden and then this going to get screwed down through there to hold this in place when it's all in <laughs> okay so finished for today good old long day in the yeah, bus, it was good. It? yeah it was good uh, it's very rare we actually get an entire day with grandchildren and dogs and weather and jobs jobs and everything else but yeah we've got a whole day in here today yep very pleased really yeah we've we've actually it's actually starting to look like something now not an empty shell with a nice floor yeah so um let's just give you a quick tour of what we've done today so we've got the ply lining on the back of the shower room up to the height of the window and the shower tray in and the shower tray in uh, we were hoping to get a bit of the framework in there today, but that uh, that didn't happen. But we're quite pleased with the way that's gone today. And if we spin around this way, we have the unit's going to house our cooker and the drawer and our first bench. Can you imagine cooker, drawer, and hob on the top. Yeah, hob's going on there, so we can look out the door when it's nice and sunny. And there's our first bench. And this is the third of the second bed so this will be the other half of the second bed yeah there'll be some pull out slats from and roughly sla where yeah slats will come up and where go. becky stood at the moment they'll come out and make that into a bed 
be suitable for a couple of children um, or one adult. One adult. One adult, yeah. I suppose. Um, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's just a lot of faff, isn't it? Put a piece yeah. in, take it out, put a piece in, take it out. Yeah. Screw it together, unscrew it. Yeah, and because because we've had to turn because we've had to turn our bus around and it's up on ramps, the door is the opposite <laughs> side. It's to, very weird, we're walking uphill constantly. Yeah. Mm. Well the door's the opposite side to the drive that we're using to cut everything on. So even though you're just cutting a piece of wood, you've got to get out of the bus, which means getting down some steps because it's too high to get up into. Walking around the bus, <laughs> cut the piece of wood. Bad. Walk all the way back round, and it just takes time, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's taken all day to do two, two bits. Yeah, but yeah, uh, really pleased with the way it's gone today. Yep. So, going to sign off now. Don't know when we're back on it. Go and have a beer or two. Yeah, have a swimming. Some hot. point this week. Swimming hot tub, maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah go and have a swim. Go and have a swimming hot tub, but uh, yeah, pleased with it. So we'll catch up with you later in the week. Bye. Bye.